tired of the same old drab outfit. Oh, hell no, man. What the fuck, man? Who <laughs> dripless are we? Well, look no further. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to get seven different outfits to make your character dripped out, at least to change from your starting gear, because some starting gears like the prisoner oh my gosh who put him in that outfit as usual if this helps you out subscribing and liking the video is always appreciated i also have a discord server in my description if you want to join that the first armor set will be the Caden armor set you will be able to grab this armor set right as you start the game it'll be after the first step grace just follow along where the story tells you to go when you get to the first church you will have to farm this armor set unfortunately however i will be showing you guys on screen a way that i farmed it that takes about a minute each encounter and it honestly isn't that bad because you can just warp back to the grace right after and do it over again but after some time you will be getting the whole armor set something that will help you farm this quicker is called the silver pickled foul foot this will be raising your item discovery meaning that the armor set will have a higher chance to drop but again if it doesn't drop you can just always come back down here and hit the grace up run back do it again but eventually you will be getting your whole armor set something helpful to cut down on time spent farming is when you see an enemy have white souls come out their body it actually means that they dropped an item that will help you a lot because you won't have to linger around to hover and press interact on their body you'll know if they drop something when they have that white body effect on their screen if they don't you can just simply walk past them i guarantee you that they drop nothing The next armor set we'll be looking at is the Land of Reed set. Now the Samurai class already starts with this armor, but in case if you weren't a Samurai and you wanted to get the armor, you actually can. It will be found in the Kaled region at the Isolated Merchant's Shack. It will be at the north of Kaled. You can come here. The Dragon Barrow West is what I used as the grace, but you can always just ride here the moment you start the game as well. And when you come up this hill, there will be a couple of dog enemies, so you're going to want to watch out for them. But at the end is going to be the Isolated Merchant and his grace. From there you can buy the Land of Reed set, it's honestly not that expensive and it looks great. Lightweight armor, very good to wear. If you have nothing to wear in the beginning game or you just want to look like that samurai build, you can wear this. The next armor set will be the Royal Remains set. You will need to go to Lyernia, but you can actually come here before you beat Godric. You can only get this armor set after you visit the Roundhold Table, which you can visit after you get to at least 4 graces and kill a boss that the grace directs you into. Basically, you can just kill Margit and you should be able to arrive here. But you'll want to follow me on screen at Folly on the Lake is the grace that I'm going to, but you can always come here again at the starting at the starting grace of the area and you'll be running into this village called the village of the alberniacs and from here you're going to want to follow me on screen there's going to be a grace but before that you're going to want to actually follow me there's going to be a larval tier here you can use these to reallocate your stats later on in the game after you beat a certain boss so this will be very helpful to pick up early game so that whenever you do get to that spot you'll be able to do that very early on and next to this grace we're going to be going up top on the hill and we will find this pot that's actually disguised as a person. He will be disguised as a pot. Hit him once with your fist and then you can talk to him. From there, you're going to want to warp back to the round table and you will be in an invasion with Ensha, the person who is holding our armor set. Slay her and we will be getting the Royal Remains armor. This armor will actually regenerate your health when it is low. So it is actually pretty good for early game builds because you'll be able to regenerate your health constantly no matter what situation you're in. The next armor set will be the knight set. It will also be at the round table. You can actually access this armor the moment you get to the round table. And I feel like a lot of people skim over this, so I felt like I should just include this. But the knight set will be nice for builds who just want to have something new to wear or some better armor because this is pretty decent armor. Not the heaviest in the world, but still offers some decent protection. Overall, pretty good armor if you just want to have something else to wear.
the next armor set will be the twin set. You're gonna need to go to Fia when you first come to the round table. She will be the lady that wants to hug you. Simply accept her request and after that you will want to go to Summon Water Village. You can come here from the first grace step. You can actually follow the road on the map and once you come to this structure on the map you're gonna to want to make a left and head north to get to Summon Water Village outskirts. After that you will be seeing a boss there is going to be Tibia Marina. He's not that hard to be honest, just slay him. After you slay him, there's going to be a guy that's going to be at the round table now. He will be sitting at the table with the grace on it. His name is D. Talk to him at least once. Then head back to Fia, the girl who hugged you, and she's going to talk to you about the Withered Dagger. And once you find the Withered Dagger, you're going to want to give it back to the original owner, which will be D. Then you're going to want to warp out of the round table, warp back in, and you will see that Fia has killed D. When you go to D, you're going to find his armor set on his body. The next armor set on today's list will be the Lendell set. You can find this at the Artist's Shack. There will be a lone Lendell Knight. You can come here. It's north of Limgrave. It's in the Leonia region. And you can come here before you even fight Godric. You can actually wrap around the side over here to get here early. And from there, just head straight up north until you get to the Grace with the Knight. So this armor set will be a lot easier to farm compared to the Caden set because he is going to be right there next to the Grace. You just want to ride straight down and he's going to be wandering around. The first time I killed him, I actually got his helmet and his leggings. I'm not sure if that's an insured drop, because I did hear my friend got the same thing. But each time you kill him, you will have a chance to get either his greatsword or any pieces of his armor set, as well as his shield. If you are struggling against this guy, I recommend fighting him on horseback. I did that the first time. You can also use bleed weapons as well, because he is susceptible to bleed and frost. Fair warning, these next armor sets will require you to kill bosses, and the first one can be found at the Divine Tower of Kaelid, just north of Kaelid. As you approach this route, simply jump down, and you're going to want to jump to the platform to your left. There's going to be a person to kill, after that want to climb the ladder and head to your left again. Make some jumps on these archways, and then you're going to be making more lefts before you get to another set of ladders, and that will get you into the actual tower. Also, don't be too worried if you fall into these cracks. It is pretty easy to mess up these jumps. You can actually just fall right back down, climb up the ladder, and try again. Once at the top, you're going to want to follow me on screen. They have a lot of high-leveled enemies in here that might one-shot you. I did this place at level 38. If you come here later, you should be okay, but just to make you wary of that. Try to avoid as much combat as possible and run through the area. We will be heading to the bottom of the tower. And this place is actually very vertical, as you can tell. So just be wary of that again. Try not to miss your jumps. It is a little difficult to navigate through this area. So if you need to run through multiple times, I understand. I definitely died more times than I can count just jumping. And if we climb up this ladder, past here will be a shortcut, so if you die, you can always just come back down here and climb down the ladder. Crawl along this edge, Assassin Creed style, and there's going to be a bridge that's below us that we're going to jump down to. The bridge will collapse, but don't be worried because you will live the fall. After we take the elevator down, we will be at the boss's room. This boss, in my experience, has been one of the toughest challenges. When I did this at level 38, 
My advice is to use bleed. He is very susceptible to bleed. If you have any summons that inflict bleed, use them, and as well as any weapons that have bleed on them. You can use the Reduvias. Even if you can't wield them properly, I would recommend that because the bleed buildup is pretty high. Once he gets to half health, he's going to have another phase where he gets very flexible and extends his body and contorts it in different ways, so just be wary for that. But after enough time, you can power through it, and once you kill this guy, you will get the God Apostle set. Plus, if you go through the door, you will be getting the God Slayer Greatsword, which is a very good greatsword for faith builds. So, if you're interested in that, you also want to come down here. The next armor set will be the Carrion Knight armor set. If you watch my last video on my strength guide, you will see how to get to this location. But basically after we get to the main tower, we're going to want to follow the path on screen. We will be running up these steps and making two lefts to get to a grace. After we get that grace, we're going to be heading straight out and following me on screen. We're going to be arriving at this bridge, which will help let us know that we're on the right path. From said bridge, just make a right and keep heading straight forward until we get to this long hallway. When we leave the long hallway, we're going to make a right and we can actually jump on this piece of scaffolding. Once we go to the end of the scaffolding, you're going to want to jump down and head forward, jump up these rocks, and then you will see a bunch of enemies praying to the statue. Here at the statue, we will find the full Carrion Knight set. Taking a look at the set, it's actually pretty good defensively, so you can use it as a lightweight armor. This is what I have to deal with when I'm recording. Like I was saying previously, the Carrion Knight set is going to be relatively lightweight. It's not going to be the best armor set, but if you're going for something with a lot of fashion, this is definitely the knight set you want to wear. For the final piece of armor in this video, we're going to want to head to Caria Manor. This is going to be at the top left of Liernia. You can actually come here and talk to the giant, by the way, to get somber stones. But we're going to want to ride through the manor. And once you make your way to the end of the manor, I also have a walkthrough on how to get there on my previous video. But once we get to the end of the manor, we're going to want to follow me on screen to the Three Sisters location and head to the left. There's going to be a crumbled building. If you head up the crumbled building, you will see the wolf mask on the top. In my opinion, this is one of the best masks in the game. Not only does it have a lot of poise, meaning that you cannot get staggered when people hit you, but it also has pretty good defense for the weight that it costs, being only 6 weight. One of the coolest looking masks in the game in my opinion, and definitely one you should pick up because it goes on pretty much any other armor sets in the game. And just like that, you now have armor sets to make your character dripped out in Elden Ring. No more do you have those prison tatters of the prisoner set, because I know my fellow prisoners out there were struggling. If this video helped you, liking and subscribing is always appreciated. I'll be making a lot of Elden Ring content, like I have been, and I hope these guys have been helping you out. See you later. Subscribe if you're new. Take care. Peace. Love and light.